blade. So for you know, I was wondering how some of those shots were pulled off. Because so I for extra smoothness, uh -huh. I had to roll a blade. Wow! So to get that movie effect, that movie, so extra, that extra, extra smoothness, so that you can may think that you're watching a movie, uh -huh. but it was just me on a skate on a gimbal. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's all. Let's talk about locations. I've seen some very interesting locations in your video over here. Some very, a place I didn't even think was Nairobi. What was happening as a, as a, as a, as a videographer? How do you go about selecting a unique location? Definitely, when you are just around, mm -hmm. you just see somewhere, you know, as a content creator. Uh -huh. When you see something, you just know, like, this is it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from any place. Oh, and sometimes it's just random. Like, uh, there's a time I went to a job in Diani. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then now uh, after I finished the job, I was like, uh, let me shoot. Yeah, it's just uh, where you find yourself uh -huh. and then you try and make it as cinematic as possible. You uh -huh. try and make it as uh, good as possible mm -hmm. by color grading yeah, yes. all those kinds of stuff. Yeah. I can see you've done, you've played a lot with the colors over yeah, here as yeah. well. I can see this rainbow effect of the park and the yeah, drone shots. Yeah. And um, as somebody at home is probably as just as fascinated as I am yeah. and is wondering if I wanted to start out in videography, what kind of equipment do I need from the most basic? Basic equipment. Yes. Just uh, people start with the phones, imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just, uh, as long as you have the creativity, uh -huh. they're like we normally have a saying, mm -hmm. it's not about the camera or the equipment, mm -hmm. it's about the person behind the equipment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can start with just a simple camera, it doesn't, mm -hmm. you don't need to start with uh, like heavy gear. Yes. Yeah. Don't wow. need to start with heavy gear. I've also seen there's, a, there's, there's something you talked about when it comes to how you draw your inspiration. You talked about you just go with the flow, you take note, you're very observant. Yeah, you just observe. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I also watch a lot of YouTube videos mm -hmm. of uh, American, British, just mm -hmm. around the world, other videographers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also get inspiration of from them, like uh, Casey Neistat, mm -hmm. Peter McKinnon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are those guys who are at the top there, so just... Peter McKinnon, you've even told us, the people that inspire you. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, they inspire you, uh -huh. the way they make the videos, the cinematic, and maybe you see like, like the one I put the mm -hmm. color grenade, yes. color, the smoke bombs on the skateboard. Yes. Uh, I like, I saw... Where do you get would. smoke bombs from? Because I'm surprised. I yeah. was like, wow. Uh -huh. You import them. You know, you have to go the extra mile uh -huh. for a video. You know, some people in a video, they look for aspects so that they can stay connected to your video so that maybe they may the wow factor you have to find a wow in every video you have to have a wow factor wow. if you don't have a wow factor people you will, will take get long bored. yeah people will get bored and you'll take long to be recognized ah. so you have to have a wow factor even in for videos which i'm about to shoot like music videos mm -hmm. which i also do i tell the clients like uh, they have to be there has to be something that stands out mm -hmm. that can wow somebody like you know yeah, so you have to have like two, three wow factors in the video so that mm -hmm. it can blow people's mind away. Wow factor, two, three wow factors in your videos. Yeah. So let's talk about iCal just a little bit. How old? How old is uh, is iCal? And were you self-taught? And um, yeah, let's just start with that. iCal first. Productions. Uh, iCal Productions is uh, like one year mm -hmm. old, but mm -hmm. I started. Uh, uh, this is my third year mm -hmm. of uh, doing filming. Why did you call it iCal? iCal production because of uh, the I, which uh -huh. represents a lens. Uh -huh. And then Carlos, my name is Carlos, so uh -huh. the Cal. So uh -huh. in combination, it's iCal Productions. Okay. Yeah. So basically, it's Carlos' eyes. Yeah, through Carlos' the lens eyes through the lens, it's <laughs> Carlos. Yeah, that's it. So is it, yeah. a, is it a registered company? Yeah, it's registered. Okay, so let's talk about how you build your clientele. Your, your your customer base and what are some of the aspects you did what was your first uh, work about and um, how did you get yourself known oh just uh, first of all it doesn't come easy mm -hmm. you have to work your way to the top yeah so I just started shooting for not for money mm -hmm. just go out there just shoot and put your content out there somebody will notice you mm -hmm. so just uh, and then I think my first big job was a job I did for deforestation. It was shot in KTN. Deforestation? Yeah. So yeah, you're deforestation. actually passionate about the environment? Yeah, uh, uh -huh. okay. it, it was just a job. Oh. But yeah, it was uh -huh. okay. It was also, as I was doing it, I was also passionate. Okay. Because we went with the tree conservatives, people concerned about conserving forests. Yes. Yeah, and mostly it's just referrals, like, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, people will say, oh, this is done this, this is done that, and yeah, like, I also did a song by Fenagitu, mm -hmm. uh, Enosolik, the, 
director he called me and he, we did a song of Fenagetu, mm -hmm. it came out recently, it's called Steam. Mm -hmm. So it's just people will see your work and uh, one day you'll get, as in people know your work, people started saying, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, it is good, good, yeah. You're good, you're good, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then eventually you you become, yeah, you be people refer you to more things and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so also I mostly do weddings and the wedding that field is just referrals. I hear most people start with weddings, yeah. even photographers. Yeah, even me, <laughs> I've, I've, I've done quite a number uh -huh. of wed very many weddings. I even have a video of uh, mm -hmm. just a combination of weddings around Nairobi, which I did mm -hmm. for drone footage. As I okay. Was myself. Um, in the age or the dawn of social media, when it how do you utilize social media to make your business more visible? Mm. And also, um, you're also a YouTuber. Yeah. And I'd like to understand what's a YouTuber, because... Uh, I find like this thing is very diverse anyway. Yeah, yeah, so can you please diverse. specify what kind of YouTuber you are? I'm not a vlogger, well. that's for one. Okay. Yeah, but I'm just uh, out to put content on YouTube, mm -hmm. any type of content. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, it's a way, a platform of showing myself a portfolio. Mm -hmm. Like if you want something. Oh, a portfolio. Yeah, a portfolio, uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to know, if you want to hire me to do you something mm -hmm. like a job. You'll, I'll tell you, you ask me for my portfolio and yeah, I'll show you my YouTube page, mm -hmm. Carlos Sonyango. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then you go and watch my videos, you're wowed, definitely you'll take me for the job. Have you started making any money from, from, from this YouTube? I hear there's a lot of complaints oh, when it yeah, comes YouTube, to YouTube. monetizing YouTube. Before, uh, it, it requires a lot of, a lot mm -hmm. of subscribers and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of views. Mm -hmm. It's when you can start making money. But once you start, mm -hmm. it's like, it's, uh, it's real money. I hear the cutoff was actually raised. Like now they, they changed it. Like in order for you to monetize it, they've, in, they've yeah. increased. They've increased the... Hey. Yeah, so you have to like uh, reach a certain level mm -hmm. so that you can be able to monetize. But for me, mm -hmm. I use it mostly as a platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I use it as a platform so that my work can mm -hmm. be out there yeah, and just... And yeah. be, I can see your work here. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. I just yeah, no keep problem. looking at it. It yeah. looks really, really good. Yeah. How long does it take before you complete, like now, a project like this? This one, I did it mm -hmm. in one day. One day? Yeah. It's a lie. I did it one day. <laughs> yeah. So who day does day. the editing? I, I also do the editing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I also do the editing. Wow. I do everything, Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do the editing. I do the, but there's for the for the for the skate video, mm -hmm. eh, it took quite long. It took like uh, three months. Because three months. Yeah, we had. I to, figured. Yeah, we had to even wait for the mm -hmm. the park had not yet been completely painted. Oh wow. Yeah, so we just had to wait. I just timed when it's fresh, when it's looking brandy, and uh -huh. yeah, and then yeah, we went for the shot. Yeah. Well, there's a question I had asked you, and then I f I forgot about it. Which is, is this self-taught or did you go to school YouTube. for it? YouTube. Yeah, me. I'm a lawyer. Wow. I'm, a, I'm a I'm I'm a student. I'm a law student. I'm finished. I graduated from a law degree. Now mm -hmm. I'm doing uh, Kenya School of Law. Yeah. So I didn't have time to go to. I have friends who have gone to school and such, but me me I never went to school. Mm -hmm. So even currently, I'm. Yeah. So I just juggle. You're just brilliant like that. Uh, you just uh, learned it. Wow. Yeah, I just learned it in YouTube. YouTube has a lot mm -hmm. of things you people can learn from instead of sitting at home, mm -hmm. editing, uh, making uh, cards, uh, mm -hmm. printing. Yes, mm -hmm. a lot of things you can learn from YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, I learned a lot from YouTube and it's very informative. It's very informative. Yeah, very There's informative. a quality you've mentioned when you're doing your productions, which is uh, it takes, sometimes it can take almost up to three months, and that's patience. Yeah, that's so patience. what other qualities do you believe that uh, any videographer at home should also have if they want to be as professional and as outstanding? Wow, you have there's to, the wow factor. You have to <laughs> have a cinematograph eye. Cinematographic uh, eye. Yeah, you have to have a cinematographic <laughs> eye. Uh -huh. Like you know this and this. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, me, most places, somewhere I see where it could be very, 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 I could really get like very good one million shots, like one million worth shots is in town. But it's difficult shooting in town, yes. especially with a drone because of... You yes. know, there are all these kinds of regulations and yeah. By the way, there was a law about it the other yeah, day. Yeah, yes. just the other day. And mm. yeah. So it's, uh, it's a bit difficult mm -hmm. to be able to shoot everything you want mm -hmm. because uh, yeah, 
Can yeah. we save that for the challenges and, and uh, then stick yeah. to the qualities? Because yeah. I think we'll go to the challenges. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm seeing a cinematographic, eye, basically an eye for detail. Yeah, eye for detail. Uh -huh. What I else? Think. Patience, what else? Uh, mm, yeah, and uh, you have to know your ground. Mm -hmm. As in, don't try and copy others. You you have oh. to be you do you your specific way of doing things. Appreciate have your, own, your uniqueness. Yeah, uniqueness. Mm -hmm. So have your own uniqueness. Have your own way of doing things, uh -huh. and uh, it'll take you far. Mm -hmm. Don't try and copy. Yes. Just do you do your own your creativity because a lot of people in <laughs> Kenya, I see they just. Same things, yeah, same things. Yes, yeah, even beats. I've seen even producers yeah, starting just to make thing. very yes, similar beats. Just try beats. and make yours, uh, mm -hmm. just try and be distinctive as possible. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you'll get recognition. Wow. Yeah. So now let's go to the challenges. I've already had one. There's the issue of uh, some locations it's difficult yeah, to it's shoot because of some regulations some and regulations, Kanjo and whatever. Yeah, yeah. What other challenges are there? Uh, other challenges are definitely acquiring equipment. Like you know, they are. Oh, you, and they are damn expensive. Yeah, they are expensive. Uh -huh. Equipment is expensive because, like, uh, you normally just start from the bottom. Mm -hmm. You climb, you climb, you climb. Yeah, you mm -hmm. buy equipment. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky challenge, and also the regulations. Like I've been said, you know, young people, uh, we they, there's no work. We're being told to. Uh, look, be entrepreneur, <laughs> look for your own work. Yes, create your own work. And then now if work. you go and create your own work, the government comes again and uh, like uh, filming the way the regulations have imposed. And yes. most people doing this are young stuff. Yeah. Yeah, young people. And now the government, like as I can, these rules they impose. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know, you have to pay what? Like just shooting in town, mm -hmm. you have to, I don't know how many you have to go through procedures and I don't know spend how much. So this is really discouraging the talent yeah, in the discouraging, industry. It's discouraging. Young Especially people, if yeah. you don't have that financial yeah, muscle. Because exactly. also I remember there was this whole conversation of how Sense8 was shot in Kenya. Yeah, definitely. And it didn't make any sense how they got all these permissions, yeah, how permission. they pulled off the They scene. blocked a whole thick alone. Yes, in fact this whole globe here, I can remember yeah. that. I remember they caused, I don't know how many accidents here. Yeah. And I was wondering, that must have cost a lot that of money. That must have cost a fortune. Okay, so yeah. that means the, the, the young talent in this particular industry are frustrated uh, because yeah. now they make it so expensive it's for so you expensive to do things that are things. out of this world. Definitely. Okay, let's talk about, um, I believe that message has hit home. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> let's talk yeah. about some of your best moments. I'm seeing your work is so amazing. I'm trying to figure out what could possibly be your favorite one out of them all. But what can you say has been your best? Work so um, far. Okay, my best work. I think the, the skate video was my best work. Wow. The, uh, because I really put my heart in that mm -hmm. video mm -hmm. and uh, the shots and the creativity, you know, I had to go mm -hmm. all in all. And also, I put some investment in it, of course. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was good. Uh, I also, yeah, when I did the video for Fena, it, well, was, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was also nice working with because you know before i did the video mm -hmm. i also look as i'm also an inspiring director mm -hmm. so i used to look up to enosolic uh -huh. and then now after a few like a few months you're told oh enosolic is calling you for a job so you actually invited yeah, so him to mentor you indirectly yeah, so, <laughs> so i was i was excited uh -huh. because even he doesn't know me and yeah mm -hmm. so i was excited because he is what he's one he's i think the best video yes video director. among the best among, among the, best. the best but to me <laughs> he's the, i yeah i look up to him so wow uh -huh. so it was nice working with him it was a good experience and he li also liked my work so that was nice also. i also like your work anyway but yeah, not that i'm a professional but i really like it i think I it's i think much. it's unique thank um okay so let's talk about um when it comes to diversification, you know every person who opens a new enterprise, uh, for example, if you start like ladies, usually when they, do, when they do hair, they start to do makeup, they start to do nails, they diversify into different other aspects. What do you see yourself diversifying into? Mm. Which field, which direction, whether it is in your film, are you going to do movies? Do you plan to do movies now? I want now? to do, uh, uh, my aim is advert adverts. Oh, advertisements. Uh, uh -huh. Big adverts. That's mm -hmm. my, like... That's your goal for my, now. That's my goal, as mm -hmm. in my main goal, because mm -hmm. I believe I can do, <laughs> and, uh, and shoot music videos also. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's my goal, so that I can be amazing. There are also other directors, video directors I look up to. 
outside mm -hmm. uh, Kenya mm -hmm. and uh, I'd like to uh, maybe even exceed the level oh yeah of uh, because yeah I, I like the way they shoot videos yeah they also shoot adverts yeah and uh, that's uh, where I want to that's where I see myself that's why you years. plan to be in the next few. In the next coming years, yeah. Okay, so I think uh, as a parting shot, I'd like to understand from you, where can the fans find you? And also, any words, any piece of advice? Is there any work that we can look forward? In fact, wait, before we get to the social media, is there any work that you're doing that we can look forward to in the near future? Yeah, uh, definitely. I have mm -hmm. a couple of music videos lined mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. I have even finished drawing scripts. You know, you just don't go and shoot. Yeah. You have to draw scripts. Yeah. So, storyboard. You know, yeah, storyboard, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I have uh, artists who I'm going to work with mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, people can look up to, yeah, look forward to that. Yeah, you, you'll be notified on my IG handle, maybe. Yes, yeah, so now let's go to your social media handles. What yeah. are your social media handles? Uh, my IG handle is mm -hmm. uh, Carlos Onyango. Carlos underscore Onyango mm -hmm. and uh, also on YouTube you can get me at Carlos underscore Onyango mm -hmm. yeah, and then uh, you'll be able to find my work mm -hmm. so you can just go you can follow you can subscribe to my YouTube channel mm -hmm. yeah, and I promise to bring uh, content proper content proper content I think if there's little tease we have is anything to go by I think we're gonna have a lot of goodness yeah, to look there's up. a lot of coming there's a lot I just started I've just started you've just begun I've just begun that beginning. is how you're beginning I cannot wish to see what you're going definitely, to do definitely. in the future so definitely. now as a parting shot yeah. something for the viewers at home yeah okay uh, everybody has his own thing mm -hmm. you somebody you're good at something mm -hmm. so you focus on what you're good in mm -hmm. Because there's something, just find something you're good in and mm -hmm. stick with it. Mm -hmm. Give it your all, give it your passion, give it your heart, and uh, you'll make it eventually. Give it your all. Give it your all. Even if people don't uh, appreciate it by that time and say you can't do it or don't think you can do it, you just, uh, you just have to push it. You don't, you don't allow people to manipulate yeah, you your drive, you your passion. To, you just have to push it. I like that, my learned friend. Thank you so much, Carlos Sanyango, for much. coming to studio today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for representing ICAL. Yes, you're watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday. I've been with the CEO of ICAL, Carlos Sanyango himself. He's, be, he's such a brilliant boy. I don't yes. even know where to start. But anyway, yes, thank you so much for watching. Please don't touch that there. Barry Moses is coming up next in the next interview.